please welcome to the stage, Dr. John Launchberry. Good afternoon. We live in an insecure digital world. Viruses, botnets, ransomware, data theft, and it's serious. Lives are put at risk and very personal private information is being stolen. I, I could give you lots of examples, but I don't need to. You already know all this. And we all do our best to deal with it, but it's hard. We're told not to click links, even though the web was designed around clicking links. But we have to be cautious in case the web page might exploit a vulnerability in our system. And that's where the real challenge lies, vulnerabilities paths of unexpected behaviors. Every week or so, our computers apply the latest patches to fix the known vulnerabilities. But then more are discovered. And this patch and prey cycle is unending, a perpetual battle against the rising tide of cyber attack. And we get resigned to managing it as best as we can. Managing cyber, manage cyber. It's not the most inspiring motto I've ever come across. The problem is that so many of our systems are built in a fragile way. It's like we have an office building with fancy doors and locks, but there are places where the walls can get kicked in. So that's what our adversaries do. Sometimes the weaknesses are in code that someone else wrote a long time ago, or far away. But as it's often cheaper to build systems using pre-existing code, that's what we do without properly understanding the code or its consequences, which means that our systems end up with unexpected behaviors. And it's no surprise that our infrastructure keeps collapsing if we don't really know what we built. I think another future is possible, a future where we have confidence in our information infrastructure. And I like to express that future as winning at cyber, not just managing cyber, but achieving victory against the factors that leave us with endemic insecurity. And there are many aspects to winning. You need a good offense and you need a good defense. And here I want to focus on the defense and in particular zero in on how to build systems that are worthy of our trust. We need to have confidence about what our systems can do. And we also need to have guarantees about what they cannot be made to do. But that means that we have to be able to prove a negative. So how do we do that? Mathematics. Every other engineering discipline uses mathematics to understand what they're building before they start building it. In the old days, we would build a bridge with lots of supports and then start taking the supports away, checking it's not falling down. But you can't build a suspension bridge that way. Instead, we use calculus and the mathematics of forces and stresses and harmonics. Now, the mathematics of computing systems is different. Understanding the behavior of software requires mathematical logic. You're probably familiar with Boolean operators like and, or, and not, and so on. Mathematical logic takes those ideas and cranks them up to 11. And it can be tremendously effective. Let me give you a recent example we were involved in. Amazon Web Services needs their cryptographic software to be customized for different pieces of equipment. The cache size in the old Amazon Dash button was very different than in a smartphone, for example. And so the code is constantly under development to meet the needs. But crypto software is very easy to get just slightly wrong, and, th and then it's useless. AWS didn't want to get into the patch and pray cycle with these foundations of trust, so they reached out to us. We worked together to set up an appropriate mathematical infrastructure. They had their C code implementations, and we had our specifications of the crypto algorithms written in an open source mathematical language called Cryptol. We used tools to expand both the code and the algorithm specification into statements in mathematical logic. And then we tried to prove that they were equivalent to each other. Now, these logic descriptions are huge way too big for humans even to read, let alone reason about. So we used an automatic logic checker called an SMT solver, and we failed. Proof was too complicated, too hard for the automatic solver to find. 
So we added another mathematical description in between the algorithm and the code. Even though it was still mathematical, this description was structured to echo the design of the C code. And now we had two proofs to do, but bingo, the SMT solver was able to find them both and very quickly. And we now had a mathematical proof that the crypto code was 100% correct. We didn't stop there because code is always changing, so the mathematics has to keep up. Whenever AWS engineers committed an update to their code, the SMT solvers would run again and again and again, each time providing an assurance that the code was either 100% correct or point out the error. And so mathematical proof had been integrated into DevOps. Now, just occasionally, less than one half a percent of code commits, changes to the code caused the SMT proofs to get stuck. And a verification engineer had to assist. And to get unstuck, the verification engineer would adjust the design model to match the structure of the new code. And then once the proof uh, is run again, it can be reestablished, and it will be then automatically maintained through hundreds of subsequent dev cycles. Now, this is just one example, but there are many more. AWS now invests extensively in mathematical assurance, as do other major te tech companies. And this is very exciting. As a society, we're on the verge of being able to build systems that we know for sure what they do, and just as important, what they don't do, or rather what they cannot be made to do, like reveal my personal data or encrypt all my files until I pay the blackmailer. This is a very exciting area to work in. It has a huge potential for making a real difference, both in research and in application. But we will only get there if we hold a bold vision for what is possible, that we don't have to accept perpetual insecurity, that indeed we could be winning at cyber. Thank you very much.